Hello friends, Mrs. Belcher here with my sleepy time story time buddy, Tyrannosaurus Rex. We are very sorry we haven't had story time for a while, but Tyrannosaurus Rex had a little bit of a cold. So he's feeling better now, and he's in his pajamas, and I'm in my pajamas with my snuggly, snuggly doggy blanket, and I am ready for another bedtime story. So, of course, you know, it doesn't have to be bedtime to read a bedtime story. Oh, dear, that's Charlie. <laughs> Move, Charlie. Go, Charlie. <laughs> so, grab a snuggly friend. Maybe Charlie should be my snuggly friend today. And cuddle up. All right, our story today is called Little Owl's Night. And this story is about a little owl who explores all around the forest where he lives at night. What's that, Tyrannosaurus Rex? Oh, that's a great question. Tyrannosaurus wanted to know why the little owl goes exploring at night. Wouldn't it be easier to explore during the day? It might be easier to see things, right? Well, that's an excellent question. Were you guys wondering that too? So let me tell you a little something about owls that I've learned. Most owls are nocturnal. That's a big word. Can you say nocturnal? Can you clap nocturnal? Watch me. Nocturnal. I counted three claps, didn't you? And that means an animal that is nocturnal is an animal that's active during the night. Some other nocturnal animals are raccoons, skunks, bats, possums, and there's lots more, even animals that I didn't even think of before, like an aardvark and a wombat and a sloth. I didn't know those animals were nocturnal at all until I looked them up. So does that answer your question, Tyrannosaurus Rex? Our little owl explores the forest at night because he is a nocturnal animal. So he's awake at night and asleep during the day. Got it? All right, we're gonna see other nocturnal animals in this story too. So other animals that are awake during the night or active during the night and then sleep during the day. And then I'm gonna show you some real owls, okay? So our story is Little Owl's Night by Divya Srinivasan. I'm not sure if I said that right at all, but we're gonna go with that. So Little Owl's Night. Oh, look at the picture. Look, there's a raccoon. Oh, look, you think it's trying to steal the the sleeping squirrels, acorns maybe? Hmm, I don't know. <clears throat> Little Al was having a wonderful night. I think Little Al is super cute. I love his big eyes. I love the way the author, who's also the illustrator, drew the pictures of the animals in the story. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. And there they are. There's the mama possum and the baby possum. And they're waddling along. Here's a nocturnal animal. Hedgehog sniff around the mushroom patch. I love hedgehogs. Skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. Look at him eating berries. Oh, look, I see snails. Do you see snails? It said that Skunk was eating berries because he couldn't find snails. Look, look, look. There's some snails.
by the river, beavers gnawed at trees. That means they chewed on them. Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Aren't the pictures pretty? I love raccoons so much. Little Owl visited his friend, the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Can you see the fog? <clears throat> Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Isn't that a beautiful picture? That the author that the author wrote that creates a beautiful picture in my head. I'm going to read that page one more time, and you try to put that picture in your head too. Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Isn't that pretty? Little Al wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. <clears throat> Snuggly blanket. On the way, little Al flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. There's Grumbly Cave. Can you see the bear? The bear's foot right there. And there's all the fish that he's caught to eat. But look at this. Wake up, bear. Don't sleep all night. Little Al sang. I want to show you the moon. And look there. That's a badger. And he's taken one of the bear's fish. It's a good thing for Badger that bear's still asleep. <clears throat> but Bear kept snoring as usual. Little Al flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. And look, there's the Badger again. I think he's going to get another fish. And the bear is snoozing all night. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. <laughs> Frog croaked softly. Cricket chirped smartly. Those are all sounds you can hear in the evening and the nighttime. Crickets chirping and frogs croaking. I know around here we, we have what we call peepers. And they make a squeak, 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 squeak sound once, this, once it starts getting late in the day and you can hear them. I've heard owls before, too. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. Fox had come to say hello. Oh, look, and there's Rabbit sleeping down in the burrow. But Fox is awake and has come to say hello to Little Owl. It was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, little Al whispered, tell me again how night ends. Well, it's time for the bats to come home. This is so pretty. The moon and stars fade to ghosts, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads. Dewdrops sparkle on leaves and grass like Tiny stars come down. And I don't know if you can see it, but in this picture over here, there's a spider web. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Um, there it is. See, you can kind of see the spider web. I love to look at spider webs early in the morning when they're covered in dew drops. And they almost glisten. So pretty. Be on the lookout for spider webs in the morning. If you look outside, moonflowers close and morning glories open. The sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red, red to gold. The sunrise is a beautiful thing. I think my favorite time to see the sunrise is over the ocean at the beach. The rooster crows, the crows call. And the day begins, said Mama. But little Al did not hear. 
See, the rooster's awake, the crows are awake, even the little sheep are awake. Do you know why little Al did not hear? Look at him. He was fast asleep. <laughs> so, that's kind of different from what we're used to seeing when we go exploring, because we usually go exploring during the day and we're sleeping at night. And so does Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's a little bit scared of the dark. So, that was a really good story. And I'm really, really snuggled up right now. And I think I could just go to sleep right now. Oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> I put myself to sleep. I did. You're right. I did have something else to share with our friends. Oh, whew, mercy, that was a good sleepy bedtime story. But I've been watching more live animal videos uh, from zoos and places all over the world. And I wanted to share a couple of those with you right now. So this is a little different. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to go whoop, up into the corner. See me in the corner? Now this right here, this is a live video of the great horned owl, and it is a nocturnal owl, which means it's active. Of course, he's a, she's awake right now, but she's been asleep this morning, and her babies are now looking like they might go to sleep too, but she's, oh, look, look at her. Oh, she's, oh, she's sleepy. She is sleepy. But anyway, so they are active. The great horned owl are nocturnal owls. And like the little owl in our story, they're active during the, during the night and then sleep during the day. Of course, this mother owl has been watching out for her babies. So she's kind of on high alert, even though it's her sleepy time. Look at her sleepy eyes. So I, now I want to show you a different type of owl. And this is called a burrowing owl. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Oh, hold on. You can't really see him. Well, up here at the very top at the edge of the screen is the boy owl, right? And he comes out of the burrow. Now, if you notice, it's daytime here and the owls are out. What's up with that, Mrs. Belcher? Well, burrowing owls are not nocturnal owls. So they're awake during the day and asleep at night like we are. And if I scroll down here, you can see this is inside their burrow. And this is the mama owl. And she has been laying eggs for the last couple of weeks. And she's laid, she's laid, uh, I think, seven eggs now. And so she used to come out of the burrow quite a bit. But now she stays in the burrow a lot, sitting on her eggs. And I think that's really cool to watch. So thanks for joining us for another bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed it. And I know I did and it worked and I put myself to sleep. But join us next time for a funny story about a dog with really, really, really stinky breath. Oh, so we'll see you then.